Well, I've made it to Vail and I found the closest camping spot that I could up in a national forest sort of near the area. But as you can see, I made it about a mile and a half in here and it's closed. So I'm going to head back down out of the mountains and hopefully sleep at Walmart without being interrupted for the night. We'll see how it goes. Good morning everyone. It is now the next day. Once I found a place to park last night, I found a really good spot and I ended up just passing out right away. It's now about 7.30 in the morning. I was woken up by snow plows because of course it snowed all night last night. Because of that, I've already made the switch over to the Blunt XLs. I'm riding these center mounted today. I probably could set them back a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure how the conditions are gonna be. So for now, I'm just riding all symmetric. Door's almost frozen. We are right here at the base of Vale already. So I came to this parking deck where everyone was going to be meeting up tomorrow and it's a $30 daily parking fee. Turns out they have parking for RVs and trailers and stuff like that and it's 50 bucks for 24 hours. So I get to park here all day for that 30 bucks and then 20 bucks to just park here all night last night. So it's definitely not better than free parking but Hey, we are right here on the mountain. I don't need to move the van all day today. And Vale's pretty rich for my blood, but that's probably the only money I will spend here today. Day two at Vale, riding the gondola right now. These guys have ridden here before. I have not. That lift line is stupid. <laughs> this is kind of exactly what I expected from Vale, but that's okay. We're gonna go get in some powder today. I didn't set back my bindings yet. I probably won't either. So it's up to you guys on the powder. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we got it. pocket right there.
That was a little taller than I thought. guys that is all for riding both Brack and Vale today was awesome I am completely wiped exhausted I'm gonna drive about an hour and a half back through the mountains to Keystone where we're gonna be riding tomorrow so stay tuned for some more footage on that hopefully you guys are liking these videos if you are I would really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up leave a comment down below and that's all for today thank you for watching I'll talk to you in the next one